let's start this game. Wait, what? The f what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was I just floating, standing in the middle of the floor? I mean, the air. What the hell? Shit! So we discovered some bugs in that. Nice, nice. Now what quest should we do? In Shadow of the Bloodline. And we've got some flux weeds so we can go and fucking... And go harvest that. That's a mandrake. I swear I put I put something somewhere else. Yeah, here it is. If you plant here, you don't need to plant this cracker. A shrivel fig and a venomous tentacular. Alright, let's go to Hogsmeade and buy some venomous tentacular. Alright, I love this place, Hogsmeade, man. This is a lit place. What will I do without her? <laughs> <laughs> what will I do without her? Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. Take this. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Well, you don't have the fucking tentacular, do you, mate? So it's not full enough. Deke would like to talk with you. Need a medium pot. What size is this? That's a small pot. Alright, so I'm gonna have to make another medium sized pot. So we don't have a medium pot. Nice. Alright then, we'll just go do another quest. What is this? Practice flying near the spires. Is it gonna give me a location? Seems a pleasant enough little place. Yeah. Intriguing. Oh, too close to the ground there, mate. So 
where did we start this one? Let's go this way then. Wow. Okay, I guess I was meant to start from there. Really? There we go. There's another balloon here, it says. Wait, no, it isn't. It's... Whoa, that is far. Save some time and fast travel halfway. See, these flu flames are useful, mate. What? Where is she? Attend astronomy class. But where is this first? No, what the fuck? There we go. Yo, what Welcome up? back. Have you finished your assignments? Yes, I've done my homework, fam. Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Oh, oh, oh. The resto momentum. Revelio. Slow the momentum of objects and large of and large targets. The larger the object that is affected, the spell will happen. Very good. Okay. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before. Attend astronomy class. Oh, there's bear quests here. Not sure why she'd fuss so much. There's only one page in a book. I never fold down. Oh, it's 
them fucking things, man. I don't know what to do with it. Let me chat to let me chat to this. If I could have a moment of your time. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting Depulso? She once saved orphans from a wild Grafhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while. Just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see what I'm going. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. I don't know why it starts the quest just by talking to the person. Right, let's, let's just go to astronomy class. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. your reading is the dragon that's exciting I suppose perhaps you're due for an adventure ladies professor Shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. So what am I looking at here? Stars now, I expect shit. all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere <laughs> didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. 
Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. All right. Try to put up my dark as long as I could. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A pristine night. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No sure. need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Find the astronomy table. Really? They have blocked hmm. by some jars. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. What are you concerned about? It's just not as... Tidy, as I expected. Expelliarmus. More okay. cobwebs. You don't think I... Might be it's in oh no. Not this close to school, I mean. Must be this. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. There we go. Lyra. I was right about the tables. 
They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. All right, that's the stunning new class complete. And we're down locked there. Challenge unlocked. Find astronomy tables. Okay. Alright, let's do this quest. Speak with Sebastian. So where is Big Man? Oh, he's here. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Anything right. to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Yeah, from the movie. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse. Also known as the Torture Curse inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous <laughs> described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Alright. Let me know where I'm going then. Meet Natty in Hogsfield. I'll go do that. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We 
need to talk. All right, Sebastian, we've got shit to do. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Okay, let's have a speak with him then. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Oh, will find him. your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Yes, we when will I bring took the letter home. we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! Revelio. He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! He I thought we would have money. found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. Rebellion. We must find Archie quickly. Wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Hmm. Something here. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. Stuck in the tree. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. 
At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need rebellion. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> A festival. Thestrals. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful, are they not? Oh wait, can I catch one in this thing? You can see that too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first festival shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. Hey, I come back here, bud. Who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Ah, uh, no. I almost caught him. Revelio. Oh, there's that another one. There's a fallen down tree. Oh, there's one. Hey. Sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It Rebellion. was a long time ago in some ways. But in Come other then. ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Let us keep moving. We must oh. find Archie. Oh, this army. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Let's go downstairs. Expelliarmus! 
coming out. This guy might be moving here. <laughs> gear slot is full. I bet it's not even gear, bro. You don't need this. Oh, it is purple stuff. Rebellion. Hey, someone help me! Is there anybody there? Please. Oh, there's a little kid. Help! Archie. Archie Bickle. I don't know who I am. Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Need to get this open. Hello, Hamora. to your mother thank you for saving me we wouldn't have it any other way archie now let's get you home we know a safe way back Darling. Mr. and Mrs. Wraith. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may yeah. be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. It's all right. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Hey, no worries. Well, I guess we'll leave this episode here. Like and comment if you liked. And subscribe if you want. Would be nice. Wouldn't hurt. You know what I mean. Alright. Take care people.